This is what's happening when we get into pain. So here's our pain. The pain, let's, in this case, I'm talking about physical pain. So pain that's inside of your body. Underneath the pain is the desire to deny an emotion. Every single time you exercise your desire to deny an emotional experience, you will experience a physical pain. Every single time. Now, why is it then when I'm in anger that I'm feeling more pain? It's because when I'm in anger, I'm in the desire to deny an underlying emotion. Does that make sense? And that's what is creating the pain. So yes, when you experience your anger, you will have some very strong physical pain symptoms in your body. Because that is the result of denying the underlying emotion. So what is the underlying emotion? Well, firstly, the desire to deny an emotion comes from a fear about the emotion. In other words, I will only not feel an emotion, or choose to not feel emotion, because I'm afraid of what might happen if I feel that emotion. Okay? So, what might happen to me if I do feel my anger? What do I feel might happen? Well, if I was a child feeling anger, what normally occurred? Punishment. So, most of us have that emotion in us. Or, if we weren't punished physically with a slap or you know some kind of physical pain what other types of punishment did we receive if we felt anger ignored. being ignored Be emotional. rejected emotional rejection right so if i'm getting into anger and then denying my anger i'm afraid of those things occurring so i need to deal with that fear the other blockages that are there underneath the fear will generally be some more causal or base emotions. Now, I'll write them as causal emotions, but usually what happens is there is a layer of emotions that get down to the causal emotion. So, there'll be pain is the result of my desire to suppress an emotion. I only ever desire to suppress an emotion because I'm afraid of it. Right? And if I'm afraid of it, then I need to allow myself to experience why I'm afraid of it. And usually that will also be a childhood experience of some kind. And I call that dealing with your blocks. Right. You will not be able to access your causal emotion until you deal with your blocks. And to be frank, anger is one of those blocks. So every time you get into an angry state, you are in a block state. Now I'm not saying don't experience your anger. I'm saying don't stay in your anger. I don't mean get out of it by actually tuning out of it. I mean get out of your anger by fully experiencing your anger and then realising that it's a choice that you're making to get away from an underlying emotion. Make the choice to get into that emotion now rather than keeping on choosing to get away from it. So if you choose to live in your fear about emotion, you will get angry very often. If you choose to start getting into your emotion, the actual causal emotion itself, and start allowing that emotion and deal with the blockages that are to experiencing that emotion, which are all fear-based blockages, then you will rarely get angry during this process. But it's your choice. Now, Please bear in mind with all of that discussion that I've just done, that I'm not talking about the childhood anger. I'm talking about the anger that you get into as an adult and what you experienced as an adult. When you get into the childhood anger and allow yourself to experience the childhood anger, you will often be like a child when you experience it. So you'll lay on the floor kicking and screaming, right? Or you'll go outside and bash something yelling and screaming, just like a child would experience their anger then the key is still to drop underneath that and get into the causal emotion. 
Why was the child angry? Most of the time because it was punished for something else that happened that was sad or you know, lots of different reasons really. 